Hi, welcome to part four of the chopper build. This week we're going to carry on with the parts that we were doing. Uh, you remember in the last video we were cleaning the front suspension up, uh, the fenders as well. So I've got the wheels, we've had some couple of parts delivered as well which I'll show you in a bit. Uh, we'll get them cleaned up and we might start doing a bit of uh, build if we've got a bit of time. And I'll also give you an update on the other chopper, the purple chopper bike. Alright? Alright. We saw that I'd had clean that in an earlier episode. Give that a bit of a wire wool. Um, I'm going to leave the cable in for now uh, and then I can take that piece off and clean it when it's done and we're ready when I'm doing the brake system. That, at the minute, as I say, it's purple. I'm not going to check, well, it was purple. I'm not going to change the uh, colour of it. As I say, it's not my bike to do that. So that can be done for the next owner. I've taken the bearings off because I'm going to um, Soak them in some spirits just to clean all the dirty grease off, then we'll rebuild that. So just a quick one, we'll just rebuild this. Breaks it. So you've got a retaining spring there or a contention spring. Another collar there with a, a groove in it. That sits like that, and that spring will sit in there. Like that traps that. So you've got to feed it through. And then the mud guard goes on fender goes on like that whichever way you want to call it send that through the middle and capture it there's a little lug there so that hooks around the back and then when it's been so when it's got tension on it it holds that side in so you get more you don't get the, the whole caliper moving around it's actually quite a good idea that so that holds it in place and that holds on Got to make sure we've trapped that spring in there, which we have. Send that forward. A washer. Let's bring it up a bit so you can see a bit better while I'm doing this piece. And put a, a nut on there. Like that. I'm just going to think it's Imperial, but 12 mil seems to do it, so. Quick and easy repair. Next up, I think we'll have a look at this assembly, the seat assembly. So, got a couple of nuts on the back, space washer, put them over there. Should be the same on the other side. I'd always loosen these off earlier when I was trying to get the sissy bar off. That lifts off. Big collar there, so a small taper. Oops, small taper goes to the outside. So on this side it will be sat like that. So remember. Now the seat post is actually riveted in. I didn't realise that. I thought it was a rivet there. Um, I thought it would have been like normal where you've just got a nut and bolt and it clamps on, but well, that's uh, riveted in for sure. So I think I'll have to clean that while it's in situ. Try it with a wire brush first, see what happens. a lot of it off, some wire wool. It's still the same stuff I used before, the valid is pride. Shows up on there, got uh, quite a good shine on it. Let's see what we've got for this. I think I've got some vinyl care. Actually, it's some uh, 
leather cleaner from a, a famous car cleaning brand. I'm pretty sure you can work out what that is. See if that does anything. Take that strap off without breaking it. Famous last words about the car because it's pressed on in the back there. It's, uh, it's two pieces pressed, so we won't mess with that. Oh, there, hang on. No. I'm not going to mess. I don't know enough about it. I will not mess. Famous saying, if it's not broken, we'll fix it. Not sure if that's going to show up on the camera much, but uh, I don't know if you can see the difference. Probably not in this light, but you've got it's quite dull. Obviously, got dirt ingrained in it. And then it's gone quite well. It's not a, like a fake shine either, it's a good. Some of them you get and it just puts a, an oily film on it. This uh, this stuff doesn't. It just uh, cleans and polishes it. I don't know if it's, I can't imagine it's faux leather or not, it's real, yeah, definitely. But um, I might put some condition on it anyway. Might as well while we're here. I'll just finish this piece. Might use a, try and use a bit of contact adhesive on there just to, to bring that back down. It's a bit better. That one and that one. That seems to be the only real damage on it, I think. I think it's all a little bit there, but uh, bad overall. That. So before we get into the sissy bar, I thought what I'll do is I'll show you a little bit of what I've done. So you remember the you've got the springs um, that, that sit at the bottom of the sissy bar. You can see the bottom of it, it's cool where it's been protected, but the rest of it is pretty rusty and crusty. Hopefully that comes up on the camera okay. So that's before. And then what I've done is I've run it through the metal polisher. Um, kind of wire wooled it on the well, a wire wheel, and then run it through a metal polisher just to try and bring it up a bit better. Don't know if it looks better side by side, probably not in this light, but might be able to tell a little bit. Um, we'll do the other one, might be those done. We've uh, done the seat nuts best we can. Can have a quick go at the pedal pins. Um, I think the last time I failed to describe that as a taper, but anyway, the bit where it kind of locks in, slants on it. So they've got a bit of surface corrosion on them. So we'll get them on the wire wheel, get them polished up, and uh, then we'll move on to the next bits. Right, so that's come up quite nice, polished up. The other one, same, rust has gone. Basically, polished the. Uh, Nuts and that on there as well, so that's ready to go on. Let's get to the next bit. Had a go on the uh, crank, that's come up okay. A few little bits of uh, rust on there, but uh, I've done it the best we can, so that's come up a lot better. Got uh, the other arm to do, which you can see, got a lot of it. It's actually surface, so I think it'll come up alright, so we'll do that right now. Might put you on uh, high speed, just so you don't have to be bored with while I polish your crank. What we can see now that's much improved. Another part ready to go on. Right, it's experiment time. I'm going to do two experiments. First one is I want to try the citric acid. I'm going to have a go. So we've got the the rusty bike chain. 
for turning off the green bike. Got a small container of warm water and citric acid. So reading up about it, it says 15 grams of citric acid to 450 ml of water. I'll be honest, it's very rare that I'll even read the instructions let alone follow them. So we're going to put some citric acid powder in um, and just go play it by ear. Put a fair bit in, let's see what happens. Plenty. I'm sure that's 15 grams. In fact, pretty sure it's probably 150 grams. Really. It's, it's not it, but let's see. So we'll dissolve that. If it's not strong enough, I can always come and add some more. All right, so that dissolved. Let's put the chain in. Taking longer than making a citric acid, right? We'll drop that in there. And let's see if you can see if you're better. So I can smell acidish type material and I can see some, I might just be able to see some bubbles forming. So I'll leave that a while and I'll check back in an hour and I'll check back after that as well. Like I say, it's nothing nothing really lost by trying it. So uh I'll leave it for, at that and we'll come back and check in an hour. So to finish off, we'll have a look at this. You can see there's a few bubbles coming up through there, so it is dissolving the rust off. Um, let's have a look. It's, the water's very discoloured after it's 45 minutes in, I think we are. And yeah, there's actually quite a lot of movement on these links. They were pretty solid before. So now we've got quite a lot of movement on the, on the individual links. So I'm quite pleased with that. So I'm going to wrap it up for now, leave that soaking, we'll catch up in the next episode and see how that's progressing and we'll carry on with the build. It's uh, been fun having you with me, hopefully you'll join me for the next one where we carry on uh, spannering. <laughs>